What's going on everybody, Christian from Treasure Town here, and we're talking about the 1957 $1 silver certificate. Have a super, super thorough, comprehensive, complete video explaining everything you wanna know about these, whether it's star notes, uh, whether it's ones that are gonna be worth more money, how much, why, um, what to look for, small characteristics, whether it's an error, a fancy serial number, a low serial number, consecutive notes like the ones I've got here, it's like five or six in a row that has a premium, really going deep dive, uh, but also, explainable and understandable no matter what your familiarity with a 1957 silver certificate is. Each series will be covered as well. Let's head on over to my presentation. So here we've got the 1957 Washington $1 silver certificate. And like I mentioned, I'm gonna be going over all of these different things, but I think the first thing to get out of the way is a value of a normal one. And this is gonna generally go for both 1957 and the 1957 A and B $1 silver certificates, but you can expect uh, regular notes to be worth around $2.50 um, and the star notes to be worth about $5 when they're circulated. Of course, in really, really, really good condition. Now this has to to be graded PMG, PCGS banknote, um, those can be worth much more. 69 is really the target, uh, or 68. Um, so if you grade it after grading fees, you know, 66, 67, probably not gonna be worth it just on conditional rarity. Um, and the star note right here uh, was a replacement note, sort of important to understand, and those are just generally better collected by collectors. Um, here is a really, really nice example of a star note that was graded PCGS 68, exceptional paper quality EPQ, um, and it sold for $385 recently. There's nothing else special about this note. Um, in terms of some of the original packs, um, so these would be, you know, maybe given to a bank, um, and then, you know, they never got distributed to people because you know, back then this was just like normal $1 bill ready to use in uh, normal transactions. Uh, and this sold for $840 recently. So that means about $8.40. Normally there's a bit of a premium over just a hundred non-consecutive notes that are all uncirculated. Uh, similarly, we have an original pack of a hundred star notes sold back in 2018 for about $1,140. And we can see, you know, not all of these were made right in 1957. It was just that series. So here it looks like uh, it was given to Teller B60 on November 4th, 1963. Now, in terms of some of the other uh, errors or ways that these can get much more valuable, here is definitely one to look for, the mismatched serial number. Uh, and this happens to be a stuck digit where you can see, you know, it's like they would rotate the digits, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then go back to zero. And um, this is gonna be even rarer because over here you have four, eight as the ending here, it's five, one, um, and the digit got stuck. So you can see the beginning of the next two and this sold for $2,700. Um, but there's also some other, you know, here uh, is a great example. You have five, four, 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 and over here it's five, five, four, four, not as eccentric and uh, stand out as the stuck digit mismatched serial number, but this still sold for $840. Um, we have a mismatched prefix note. Um, so the, other version of looking for this where it's QA, block QA, and then over here it's AA. So that sold for 455. And this is a really circulated note. So somebody plucked this out. It's a good reason to pay attention to all of the notes that you get. You can do a quick check to make sure things are not you know, mismatched, uh, whether it's the prefix or the serial number. Here's a neat offset printing error. Um, and in this case, also a circulated note, as you can see, still sold for $145. Now, when you do think about the values, um, you know, if you sell at Heritage, you know, it's not gonna be a zero fee thing. And with the grading fees, probably what, 20, 30 bucks, um, maybe more if you do it on your own. Mm, it's not like, uh, you know, you're not making hundreds and hundreds of dollars, but it's still a really, really cool um, way to like buy currency. I think this is actually a pretty good value. Um, so a lot of neat things in the error space. And then we also have a printed fold error uh, where, you know, you can see that this was probably folded back, had a little bit of light circulation sold for $300. Uh, and then also a minor solvent smear in the treasury seal where literally the solvent is just this tiny little thing um, where, you know, you can see a little, uh, it looks like an ink smear, but it's a solvent smear, um, a little discoloration on this crisp, uh, you know, nice paper quality note and sold for $160 over sort of the average would be like five bucks for a 63 without an error. Um, this one's pretty interesting. You can see 
So what, uh, this, I, I'm pretty sure that, um, well, I should know this uh, given that I'm doing the video, but there's two different W's here, um, or M's. So this one, I believe, is the normal M, and then that is the normal W, um, but it was inverted and like flipped upside down. So, um, you know, sold for $310. Really having an eagle eye on all your notes can certainly be a successful thing to do. This one circulated a gutter fold error where, you know, there was a slight fold in the note. So it gets, you know, printed with the what's inside of the fold, um, not receiving any ink, then it opens back up. And, you know, it's as seen right here, uh, sold for 85 bucks, um, a partially obstructed. So the third printing includes like the uh, you know, would be have the treasury seal um, and then the serial number, but something would have been on the note and obstructing it, and it's a hundred seventy dollar fine. Um, then we also have some fancy serial numbers. These ones was a were a pair. You know, one six one five one four one three. Then we have one five one four one three one two, and so on. This sold for two hundred fifteen, so call it seventy bucks a note each, seventy two bucks. Um, we also have a repeater fancy serial number. So, so many just different things to look for. This only sold for $40, so it wouldn't have been worth auctioning, but um, 9940994. So, that's fun. And then we also have this radar uh, fancy serial number, 8808088. So, effectively, you know, if you inverted it, it would remain the same, uh, though I guess P and A, if it was PP or AA, would probably be more valuable. This one sold for $230. Bucks, um, and then we have another, this is, I don't really understand why this one uh, was so valuable, but whatever, 40 million and one, uh, sold for 190 bucks. Um, a two note fancy, or two, yeah, two number star note sold for $140. I mean, th these seem to stretch it a little bit, but I think that's why I'm excited to talk about it because people buy cool serial numbers. Uh, $140 was the price for this one. Um, here, it's just like a two note fancy serial or two digit, again, $115 all the way back ungraded in 2006. Um, and then here, I think that this is much cooler and it sold for only 60 bucks, though probably reflects its condition, um, a partial up ladder. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then four. Now the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you know, those notes go for a lot of money um, and you should look for them. And then we also have this fancy serial number, $105. Um, and then some of the low stuff. So this only sold for $120, which I think is a pretty good buy um, for a you know serial number on a star note uh, in the 136 range. But that's what somebody scooped this note up for. Um, then when you get to 111, um, 205 was the price paid and probably reflected a premium for a binary note, which is zeros and ones. Um, and then finally, this, you know, if you can get below 10, that's where it's really valuable. $2,160 was paid for this uh, silver certificate, um, Washington, you know, and yeah, I mean, I think that that concludes our video today. Really interesting to talk through these notes with you. So many fun things to find on the 1957 um, note. And yeah, I'll see you on some of my videos going forward. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like, comment your thoughts, and subscribe to Treasure Town, and get in touch with me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Also, check out my website, treasuretowncoins.com, for news and updates related to the channel and collectibles in general. Lastly, there's a link tree in the description with links to all of my other sites as well as some affiliate links that can support the channel. But with that being said, have a great day and I'll hope to see you on some of my videos in the future.